Hi, my name is Tori. I'm the editor of the I Do Wedding website, and this is I Do TV. What the groom and groomsmen wear should not be an afterthought, and it's just as important as the bride and bridesmaids. Getting it right means that if they look good, you'll look great. I'm speaking with Andrew Grunzel from Sperling Formal Wear, one of Australia's largest formal wear retailers, about how to dress the groomsmen. So Andrew, what are the options with formal wear today? Well, Tori, there's only really two options for the gentleman, and that's either to hire or to buy. Uh, you can do a combination of both, which is what a lot of bridal parties are doing at the moment. So the groom will probably want to buy his outfit and keep it as the bride does. The groomsmen, as a general rule, will hire their outfits to match in with the groom. Uh, there's also other options of having the groom and the groomsmen buy all of their suits and just hire the accessories that they may not wear again, or they may hire the suit and buy the accessories. Okay, great. And now, when we're talking about dress codes, let's talk about what what some of the looks are. Now you've got uh, a black tie. Yes. Let's start with that. Well, if we start at the top, and we'll start at white tie. White tie is the most formal that you can get, and we don't do a lot of it in Australia. It's uh, a traditional Marcella vest, shirt, cuffs, um, with a white dinner jacket or white tails. Not a lot of that around. Black tie is still very fashionable. Uh, it's been around forever. It's a classic look. Uh, we have now got modern versions of black tie in the marketplace. Whether it be a dinner jacket with a shawl collar or a one-button notch lapel dinner suit with a straight black satin tie or a bow tie is your black tie look. A black tie outfit compared to a lounge suit, for example, is a satin trim. So it would be satin on the lapels, satin on your buttons and possibly a satin seam on your trousers. Okay, and what about lounge suit? I see that can be... That, that's quite popular these days as an option for a dress code. Very much so, and it does depend where you're getting married as well. So a beach wedding, for example, or a, a garden wedding, a lounge suit's very appropriate for such a thing. At the moment, greys and beiges, and I would strongly recommend a vest go with that outfit, have a three-piece outfit, because if you're outdoors, you probably will want to take the jacket off very quickly. It keeps you nice and dressed up when you have a vest on rather than just a shirt and trousers. Okay, and talking about that um, with the heat, what do you need to consider when you're getting married in summer? Yes, well, you are always going to be hot in the middle of summer in a suit. Um, if you choose a suit that is a high, fine wool, it will breathe a lot better than, say, a polyester wool blend. Um, you are going to be hot in a suit, but a strong recommendation from myself would be if it is the middle of summer, buy or hire a second shirt. Great tip. I like that one. Now, what about costs, um, hiring versus buying? Once again, it, it can be a combination of both, so it's hard to give a specific on that. But anywhere between 99 and 799 is a good range from hire to buy or combinations of both. You're going to end up somewhere in there. OK, so it's not necessarily more expensive to buy the suit? Not necessarily. Um, if you're buying a top-of-the-line suit or, or a super... 140 wool or something along those lines, you are looking at a higher price to purchase, but you're getting the quality in the garment as well. Great. And what about some of the trends that we're seeing today in formal wear? In formal wear, in terms of the, the black tie, for example, we're going into a more of a modern black tie look. So away from your shawl collar and your bow tie and more into a notch lapel with maybe one or two buttons and a straight black tie. Also, the thin black ties uh, are making a comeback as well. And what about for the lounge suit? Lounge suit, beige and grey are huge. Last year, this year, very huge. Does the groomsman have to match the groom? As a general rule, it is good to have the same suit. If you want to change anything, a slight change is a lot of the time better than, than a complete change for the groomsmen. If you picture a bridal party, you'll have a bride separate from the bridesmaids. That's about as much as you need to have in terms of colour changes and style changes. So a, a nice way to do it is a three-piece suit for the gentleman, maybe in all black or all in pinstripe or all in grey, and then just highlight the colour in the neckwear or the handkerchief that will match in with the girls. You'll also have the buttonhole flower, which should go in with the bridesmaid's bouquet. And what about the father of the bride and groom? A lot of the time the fathers tend to go in classic black tie. That way they look neutral and they can be photographed next to their wife, next to the bride uh, or, the, or the whole bridal party and still look appropriate. Depending on the actual dress code of the wedding, um, just a nice black lounge suit for the fathers of the bride. Going neutral is a very good way to go rather than trying to pick up too many colours. 
And what are some of, what's some sound advice that you can share with us about formal wear? When you're planning to go in and get your formal wear sorted, always take the bride. Um, the bride knows what the dress is like. The bride knows what the girls will be wearing in the style of that. And it's always handy to have her on hand or get some instructions and bring them into the store. So the formal wear consultant can really match up nicely with the outfit that the ladies have. That's great. An appointment is probably my number one tip. And what are the accessories that we need to consider? The accessories that are a must are cufflinks. A gentleman should always wear cufflinks to his wedding. Also a handkerchief in the pocket and a belt, uh, a nice leather belt. It adds to the whole outfit. It's just the small touches that make the outfit look great. And what about shoes and socks? Shoes should always, for a groom especially, should always purchase a new pair of shoes. Always have them polished up and a good pair of socks. It's very important to be comfortable on your big day and so you should be purchasing the shoes probably about two to three months out and wear them in. Well, thanks, Andrew. For all the information on dressing the groom and groomsmen and all the best advice, visit the I Do Wedding website. And in the meantime, happy planning.